Kenny Bill with Pushing It Down Range. And today we're going to dive into my brand new PMR 30 from Caltech. I've stated what I intend to do is to bring this up to speed in order to be able to carry it defensively. I think the PMR has the capability to be a great deterrent. So let's take a look here. Brand new out of the box. I have gone ahead and shot it, put about 40 rounds through it. Right now we're in the midst of a ammo crisis, so I, it's going to be hard to go out there and just run it like I want to. But I did run it enough to know that right now, out of the box, that it functions 100% reliable. There are some items on here that could be better. If you're going to carry it, you want the gun to be as good as you can make it. So there's a couple items on here that we're going to replace. And then we'll take it out again and run it as, as well as I can with the, as much ammo as I can spare. So the PMR-30 has a European style mag release. Some people don't like that. I'm actually, it's growing on me because it makes mag changes really quick. You just reach in and grab it and, and you go. It will drop if you, if you want it to, but the best way is to just grab it and strip it. Now I mentioned I want to be able to carry it. So I've got, I did order from Amazon. This is an H3 Customs Kydex holster. It is made specifically for the PMR-30. So far, I like it. I like the way it fits up against your body. It doesn't let the, the gun hang out to the side. It keeps it nice and tied up against, up against your side. It locks in real nice. So that's one option for my carry. The other is a urban carry the revo system this one comes in two pieces you buy the the plate part first that goes on the belt this has a couple of straps that will lock in the shell and the beauty is you can use that to set your cant how you want that what angle you want so this is real nice this actually was purchased for my glock 22 but it also fits the PMR-30. And one thing I like about it, if you're going to carry, it covers, it's a high-rise leather. It's gonna cover your safety. So you can put it on safe, and that way you won't accidentally take it off. So that's option number two. I also use a Core Essentials Tactical Belt, really nice. I highly recommend it. They're stiff enough that it's not going to allow the holster to twist on you. So that's a good thing. Okay, so like I said, I want to make some changes. I did order through M Carbo the all-in-one uh, all update kit that they've got available. It runs 140 bucks, and it replaces the feed ramp, the magazine clip and the springs on the guide rod and the trigger and it also comes with a whole bunch of stuff here and of course you got your sticker it this kit has the speed loader made for the pmr it has the magazine clip that helps keep that magazine fully inserted there's a is a little slop in the magazine between that and the frame and i'll show that i also have the new feed ramp metal instead of polymer <laughs> you see the feed ramp that's in the pmr 30 now it is squared off as opposed to being rounded like this one uh let's see here here's the new trigger it's got pre and post travel adjustments on it it is a f mostly flat style trigger I'm really happy with the trigger that's on there right now. I may just leave it alone, but I may go ahead and we'll play with it. It won't be, if it doesn't work out, I can put the other one back. And then here's your two springs, one inside the other. It's a little bit more pressure. They say it helps. We'll see. 
And then you've got a couple of tools they give you. This is a little pick that they use to help put the, the little spring back in on the, uh, the back side of the uh, feed ramp. And then you've got two Allen wrenches that are required for at least one of the screws. So we'll get into that. Uh, you can see the full install on M, M Carbo. I highly recommend you watch that if you're going to go this route. I'm going to show you an abbreviated version of that. We'll see if I have any issues with it. Okay, so pretty soon we're going to start taking the PMR30 apart in order to install the new upgraded M Carbo parts. But first, let's talk about this magazine. Some people have blamed some of the issues on the magazine. It can be problematic to load. But once you understand how this thing works, it's a piece of cake. This is the other spare mag that has been taken apart. And you can see the, the body. This is going to be your follower, your spring, your internal base plate, and the external base plate. Take it apart just like eh, Glock magazines, anything else. You're going to depress that little button slide your base plate forward and once it's out you've got to cover it because it will pop out on you just back it off slowly and once you get it where it's coming out cover it up and it does look like the internal base plate might just fit over one end let's see if it fits on both ends no so it looks like there is a orientation on this the little ring here needs to sit inside this this end of the spring so you see it kind of captures it okay so and then your follower comes out all in one piece now here's the thing, for me, I have had issues with magazines, uh, the problematic ones. I generally like to take and spray the internals with some dry graphite uh, uh, lube of some sort. You want the kind that dries hard. You do not want to oil it. You don't want oil being transferred from your rounds into your chamber into your barrel uh, that's that's bad so the best thing to do is use a dry graphite it dries hard and will not transfer uh, to other surfaces so that's what you want inside of your magazine so what i'm going to do is take these parts the internal parts and spray them down with the graphite and then we're going to reinstall it Okay, so what I'm going to do is basically just spray the internal parts of the magazine. I do not see any benefits at this point in time in spraying down the outside, but I do want to get on the inside. So the inside and then all the internal parts. Well, As you can see, I sprayed the internals of the magazine um, with the graphite. I did not see any advantage in spraying the outside of the magazine, just the inside, because that's where all the all the motion is. Uh, if that becomes a problem, it's, it's easy enough to come back and spray the outside of the magazine. But all the internals have been coated. Um, it's time to go ahead and let it dry real good before we reinstall. And one little tip is you may want to wear gloves because this stuff will get on your fingers and it will take about a month or so before it comes off, I think. Anyway. Okay, so we're ready to put them back together. And as we found out, there is a right and wrong way on these springs. All right, this is the internal base plate. It will fit inside the spring and it kind of captures it. So what we'll do is put the follower back in first I'm going to match up the angle I'm 
we're going to put our spring there is a circular uh, space for the spring there put that in we're going to compress it hold it in and then slide the base plate back on and then push it in until it locks. Okay, so that's one. Again, the internal base plate is captured. We're going to put the follower in. Come on, dude. Again, we've got that tube snaps on very nice so that should make the internals uh, work real smoothly now I'm gonna go over a little bit again on the loading since we're here these PMR 30 magazines load almost identical to what you would do with a 223 with a little bit of a difference the 223 as you know you lay the round on top and just push it in Lay it around on top, push it in, give it a tap every now and then. PMR 30 is pretty much the same way. You're just going to lay it on top of that opening there. You'll see a notch. I'll see if I can highlight it a little bit with a diagram. But you'll see that round will actually come to stop up against there. I've seen people say that you load it by putting it in the big notch and pushing it forward. That's not how you do it. You lay it on top, snap it in, and you push it back. Almost exactly like a 223 round. On top, push it in. On top, push it in. On top, push it in times 30. Um, when you get down towards the end, it's a little bit more difficult, but if you've got the thumb strength, you can push that down all the way to round number 30, no problem. These things are dry, ready to go. So next, let's go ahead and start opening up the PMR-30. We're gonna take it apart and see if we can make this thing as good as we can make. It. 